Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to measure the angles that you see when you are sketching outdoors. I'm going to show you several techniques to measure angles. The first one is to use your pencil or pen, hold it like this vertically or horizontally, and use this as a measurement tool to compare it against the angles in your scene so for example when i have my pencil like this i can compare this with this angle here it looks like it's a 45 degree angle usually for scenes that already have vertical subjects for example the trees here i would just um, use this tree as a vertical measurement tool and compare it against the angles in the scene but sometimes um, you may still want to use the pencil because some of the angles they are a bit tricky especially angles that are closer to the horizon line which is around here so you can see the angles here this particular angle and this angle here they are a bit tricky to measure because they are so small as compared to this angle here which is much longer so sometimes I still use the pencil just to uh, measure it like this so this is one way that you can use to measure angles use your pencil or your pen and measure by comparison the second technique that I use is actually a variation of the first technique sometimes I would just hold my sketchbook like this in front of me and use this line this horizontal line to align it against the lines that I want to measure for example, if I want to measure this angle, I would compare this angle with the top horizontal line of my sketchbook. One uh, advantage of using this is this sketchbook is going to block out most of the scene so you will not be distracted by all the other elements. You can just focus on the line that you want to measure. So you can use this to measure this line as well. You can use this to measure this line as well just place it like this so sometimes I use pencil sometimes you may see me holding my sketchbook with my arms stretched out like this to measure the angles by comparing against this horizontal line some angles can be really tricky to measure for example these are some shop houses I was standing on the ground floor pointing my camera upwards and taking a photo of this and from this angle, the line of the roof it usually goes down. But this part of the roof, in my mind, I would think that it's going to go down. So it's probably going to point somewhere in this direction. But in actual fact, this roof is actually pointing upwards, at least for this part here. So these are the really tricky uh, parts. And to measure these angles, again, you can use your pencil. Um, use it as a vertical tube and compare it so in this case it looks like it's a 45 degree angle and we can compare this angle as well so you can see that this angle is tilted slightly from the vertical line and notice that this building behind here this huge sky uh, scraper building this is also tilted slightly and that's because of my camera lens distortion if you are on location looking at this particular scene all the vertical lines they are going to be perfectly straight just that when you are drawing from reference photo um, these are some of the things that you should take note of the next technique is a foolproof method to getting the angles accurately and that is to again use your sketchbook hold it up against your subject and place your pencil on your sketchbook and try and duplicate the angle that you see so in this case i'm using this vertical line as a measurement tool again and this pencil will represent this line here this tilted line here and this is the exact angle that i have here now bear in mind that on location i will be holding out my sketchbook like this when you bring your sketchbook down onto your lap to continue drawing, make sure you do not lift your pencil 
for example you, you could measure your angle like this and when you bring it down it's like if you move your pencil like this you're going to lose the angle so when you bring it down to um, your sketching level make sure to hold the pencil tightly against the page so that this these two uh, things they do not move and this is the foolproof method of getting the angle accurately here's another technique now I will start with this technique by using my pencil to measure this angle and then I will associate this angle to the minute hand of a clock face so in this case um, I would say that this this angle is pointing to the two o'clock uh, to two o'clock and if the angle is horizontal like this of course it's going to point to three o'clock if it's like this it's going to point to six o'clock if it's like this it would be between two to three o'clock and here it's very close this line here it's very close to three o'clock but it is not three o'clock I think this line here this line here this is almost um, three o'clock but it's um, still not three o'clock so using the pencil as a measurement tool you can sort of gauge the angle quite uh, intuitively so this is the actual horizon line and this is the actual three o'clock and as you move down again you can use the pencil to measure the line on the ground the angle on the ground and this is past three o'clock but it's not at four o'clock you can even use this to measure the angle of the shadow you can practice the techniques that I have taught you very easily even at home you just have to look for elements with straight lines for example you can measure the corner of your bed stretch out your arm lock your elbows and measure it so this is about i think seven o'clock this is eight o'clock and this is nine o'clock notice this line here this is tilted it is not three o'clock three o'clock is like this totally horizontal this is off three o'clock you can measure windows as well the noise that you heard earlier it's the thunder because it's raining now so you can use this technique to measure wi windows as well so this angle here this is about seven to eight o'clock somewhere in between you can also measure the corner of your room so this angle here this by right should be vertical but because of my camera lens the angle that I'm pointing my camera it's not you can measure this angle this is about 1 to 2 o'clock somewhere in between and this is about this is 9 o'clock this should be 10 o'clock 11 o'clock 12 o'clock I'm sure if you look around you will be able to find a lot of materials for you to practice all right, it seems like the rain is getting heavier. I need to close my window now. So that's all for today's tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful. See you in the next video. Bye.